Karn leapt over the barricade of tables, Gorchal screaming in his hand. Azrael deflected the blow with his sword, dragging the chain axe into the chamber floor, which tore open under the grinding teeth. He readied to drive the blade down across Karn's neck. With Gorchal still embedded in the deck, the World Eater struck out with his fist, the punch so powerful that it lifted Azrael from the ground and sent him crashing into a table. Karn roared, freeing his weapon, and was on the Dark Angel in an instant. Azrael had to roll aside to prevent the chain axe from biting into his breastplate. His bloodlust up, Karn continued to slash down wildly with Gorchild, forcing the Dark Angel to remain prone to avoid the blows. Each impact shattered more of the deck, thick cracks tracing through the toughened metal. The chain axe struck once again, and Azrael sprung to his feet, wielding the sword two-handed. He thrust into Karn, who reacted a fraction too slowly the blade slashing across the world leader's forearm. Azrael hadn't drawn blood, but a deep gouge now ran through the red armor. In rage, Karn heaved Gorchild out of the bulkhead and charged the Dark Angel. Strangely, a faint purple glow emanated from where the axe had torn away the floor. Focusing on the moment, Azrael stood his ground until Karn was committed to the attack, before dodging the lethal blow in a spinning motion and catching the berserker across the back with the edge of his sword. This time, Azrael did draw blood. Karn roared and repeated his charge, but it was as ineffective as the first. Azrael ducking the blow, and this time scoring a hit on the traitor Astarte's torso. The Supreme Grandmaster had learnt many things during his long years of combat, not least of which was an angry opponent was a sloppy one. But in the case of Karn the Betrayer, the opposite held true. For 10,000 years, the favored son of the Blood God had followed the Eightfold Path to every corner of the galaxy, a trail of corpses in his wake and countless skulls claimed for the throne of Korn. Numerous were the opponents who had thought Karn beaten, but just as numerous were the bodies of those who had prematurely celebrated victory over the world leader. The more battered and bloodied he became, the greater his rage. The greater his rage, the more battered and bloody his enemies became. Azrael had cut Karn twice. It was unlikely there would be a third time. Bellowing, Karn launched himself at Azrael again, keeping Gorchild high until the last moment. Anticipating the Dark Angel's feint, Karn swung the chain axe low, catching Azrael in the side of the knee and shearing away armor. He turned the head outwards on the upstroke, catching Azrael under the chin with the haft, before spinning the axe around again to bring it down in a killing stroke. Still gripping his blade in both hands, Azrael brought it up swiftly, turning a mortal blow into a wounding one. Deflecting off the dark metal sword, Gorchild narrowly missed decapitating Azrael, biting instead into ornate pauldron. The Supreme Grandmaster's arm went limp at his side, and he raised the Sword of Secrets in one hand to fend off the next blow from the blood-streaked chain axe. Gorchild tore yet another chunk from the floor, more diffused purple light spilling from the deck below. Relentlessly, Karn came at Azrael, the Dark Angel desperately parrying the savage swipes as he backed away from his assailant. For every blow that was knocked aside, another made contact, breaking open armor and tearing the flesh beneath. There was no longer opportunity for counterattack. Each motion of the Dark Angel's sword was a defensive stroke staving off the inevitable. Aiming low again, Karn slipped beneath Azrael's guard and Gorchild ate through armor, arterial blood spilling from the mutilated thigh. Azrael dropped to one knee and heaved his sword upwards to block another potentially killing blow, which ended up embedded in the deck. Struggling to free the chain axe from the ruined bulkhead, Karn launched a fist at Azrael, connecting heavily with the Dark Angel's helmeted head. Karn raised his fist again, but still struggling to free Gorchild, instead gripped the haft and tugged hard to release the trapped weapon. Kneeling, bathed in purple light seeping through the cracks in the deck, Azrael defiantly raised the Sword of Secrets. Karn's flank was exposed, the armor heavily cracked and coated in blood from Azrael's earlier attack. If he could drive the blade in, open the wound up further, even the notorious Karn the Betrayer could not survive that. But his death would not be instant. He would still be able to free the chain axe, and Azrael's life would be forfeit regardless. Karn was not the objective here. Aiding the Grey Knights in closing the damnation cache and ridding the Pandorak system of Abaddon and his Black Legion was. As tempting as it was to die a hero's death, and to be the one to rid the Imperium of Karn the Betrayer forever, Azrael took the only option left open to him. He drove his sword point down into the already cracked deck, opening it even further to release more of the unnatural light. He lifted his sword again, and the same instant Gorchild finally broke free and slammed it down. 
this time breaking the bulkhead beneath him completely as Karn and Chainax swung harmlessly overhead. Azrael let himself fall. Okay, when you when you really look at this fight, um, I'm just gonna say this is a straight up win for Karn. Like if Azrael didn't fall away and you know break the bulkhead beneath him and escape. Karn would have seriously killed him, just like he would have killed Erebus before Erebus teleported away. This is... Karn got cucked out of a kill again. And I, I'm starting to feel bad for my boy in red because he, he he's getting fucked over for his kills. Like, he could have killed Erebus right then and there, shattered his spine and bisected him. But nope, Erebus got teleported away like a bitch. Azrael, Azrael could have fucking died and the Dark Angels could have lost the Supreme Grand Master. But no. He had to fuck off like a pussy. I'm sorry, nah. Karn, Karn is just another level above any Astartes alive. Yeah, and Azrael's fucking hubris of thinking that he could kill Karn right there, as well as ending his own life, is just ridiculous. Because Karn has died plenty of times, but Karn is just like, nah, bruh, nah, get the fuck back up. You fighting for me for eternity. Because he got killed in the Siege of Terra. Karn uh, was just like, nah, bro, mm -mm. up, up you get, you're fighting for me. So Azrael thinking that he could rid the Imperium of Karn the Betrayer forever. Um, yeah, no, that's the epitome of stupidity right there. Like, for fucking real, you cannot end Karn. Karn will just get resurrected again and come right back for your ass, just like Angron. You just can't kill those two. So honestly... Uh, even though Azrael did not die, I still chalked this up as a win for Karn. Straight up. Th that was ridiculous.